Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we'll look at another very useful mod, and this one you might recognize from Garrett's mod, because it is simply the Fizz Gun, and does exactly as you expect. But if you're not familiar with Garrett's mod, what this tool does is basically allow you to pick up anything and just move it around. Using the ship hovering up there, which just click on it, and I can simply move it around and position it to where I want it to go. I can even rotate it like a regular block, of course it's going to fire me because it does have thrusters turned on. I can just realign this thing, get it how I want, and then just drop it down into the ground. It's very useful if you have, say, deconstructed the base and want to move everything into a grinding pit. You simply just pick it up, and we'll just send it all the way across. Now I need to have my HUD turned on. There we go. And I'll pick it up, and we'll send it across. Of course, you can just mouse wheel forwards, go and extend it all the way out, and of course, to pull it all the way back to you. I guess we'll go for that a bit later on. But dropping it there, letting it crash all the way down to the ground. I'm going to grab hold of the free camera, take a quick look at the model of the gun, and then we're we'll going to play around with it. So yes, this is what it looks like from the side. This is a very nice, very custom model, just to move it around. We've got a caution label right at the very front there, so you know this thing is going to be bloody dangerous to use. I would have a small little canister down there with some pointing parts at the bottom. Lots and lots of wires going absolutely everywhere on this thing, even more so when you come around towards the back here. You see a bunch of them just all connected into this section, with a little hand strip right below there, partially covered up by the hands. You do have a sign this thing, so if you do want to aim at something very far away, you can actually do that. So with this, just aim down the sides, and now we're just going to click on that, and move around once again. And then back into the free camera, across the opposite side. There we go. Looking all the way down, we see the rail for the sides to sit on. Underneath it, near the canister. There we go. Then for the barrel itself, all the way up. We do have this little line here, this is a small little bug. When I first saw it, I thought it was like a little antenna sticking out, but no, it certainly looks like a bug, and the way it's actually coming out with the barrel right there. Yes, that's the barrel at the front. And that's enough of the model. So yes, once you found this in through the mod menu, you're going to have two options in your spawn menu. Now, if you're in survival mode, you're going to have one option, because the other option is going to be locked out. So in here, typing in fizz gun, and here they are both together. So we've got our standard fizz gun, which is what I was currently demonstrating with, and you've got the Super Fizz Gun, which is a creative tool that will just remove all limitations and allow you to fling stuff around as if it weighs nothing. In creative mode, you cannot actually craft that one. You have to activate admin mode and spawn it in yourself. The only one you can use is the standard Fizz Gun, but it doesn't currently work in Savar mode. At least I couldn't find a way to make it work in Savar mode. So it asks for ammunition, and I don't see any way to actually craft it nor spawn it in. But yes, that's how you get your hands on it. And now we're going to go through the different controls. So over here, what we've got is the Google Albatross, and it's had a bit of an accident. It's lost all power, it's crashed down onto the ground, and now for whatever reason, I want to move it closer to the base to make it easier to deconstruct. So using the standard survival ready fizz gun, I'm simply going to aim at it. I'm going to click on it. Oop, looks like I am just out of range, but I've got it a little bit closer. There we go. I'm going to aim at it. I'm going to click on it. Now you see I've got a blue line attached onto it. That blue line stays on there, so you don't need to hold down the mouse button or whatever controller button you're using. So it permanently stays attached. Can use the free camera. And what did you see there? That is a little bit odd. I wasn't expecting that, but it seems to be following around the actual camera itself. So I can't actually showcase that. But simply going to have to look at it like so. Yes, I can now lift this up, move it around, and you see it's very, very slow. Now that is something to actually pay attention to and remember. This is the survival ready fizz gun. And you see how slow it is just moving stuff around. I'm just going to plop it down right there. Just going to slam it straight for that platform, cause everything to explode. Now we're going to switch over to the creative fizz gun, the super fizz gun, which looks identical, but it's going to have a slightly different beam. So attaching it onto there, we see we've got an orange beam. This time, we just move it around. There's no way on here whatsoever. We just slam it around, slam it into the ground. It does not matter. There we go. It's now absolutely destroyed, and barely anything is remaining. But that's very good, very good indeed, because I've got a grinding pit. Oh, well, the grinding pit has currently been destroyed, thanks to that. Yes, I can just pick that up and bring across the grinding pits, and we'll do that. That's simply how both guns work. And of course, I can show you this moving forwards, moving backwards, getting no weight. And of course, we can use the standard controls, at least on the keyboard. It's page up, page down, and all of that to rotate it and to get it to where it needs to go. So find that ship once again that I played with earlier. Over here, let's go get you back onto the platform. In fact, I want to make sure I'm on that one. Now I'm just going to bring him close over to here. And just going to rotate him all the way around. There we go, that'll do quite nicely. Now just drop him down onto the platform. And because this thrust is enabled, I'm going to have to slam it down. And there we are, it's now safely on the platform, ready to be worked on. 
So yes, that's how the tool works, that's how you spawn it in and what you can do with it. But what are the limitations of it? Because currently it looks bloody powerful. And well, that's going to be the ownership. So you cannot use these guns on stuff you do not own. You have to own at least 50% of the grid. You have to move it around. And the grid has to be free flying. So it cannot be in the ground. It cannot be stuck in the ground. Because if I try and use it on the base, nothing is going to happen here. I cannot lift up the base. Because it's firmly in the ground. It needs to be some kind of free floating piece. Like that bit over there. Just move around and sling it around. Because I can't do that one. Just throw it into the distance. So on and so forth. So yes, you have to own at least 50% of the grid to be able to do that. So there's no just going up to a pirate base, cutting off the bottom of the tower, and then just picking up the tower, the top part of the tower, and just moving it to a grinding pit. So that'd be absolutely cheating. No, you cannot do anything with it. You have to own at least 50%. Now, because I am in creative mode, that does mean that I can move enemy bases without worrying. So coming over here to one I played with earlier, the Space Pirate Outpost, which is just cross on this hill, or used to sit on this hill, you'll see in just moments. So across the here... And there it is right there. I just sliced it off and decided to fling it around, putting the character all the way down. And yes, because I am in creative mode, it doesn't matter which gun I use, I can simply pick it up and just throw it around. So I just click on that, move it away. There we go, take a little bit of time. I'm going to switch over to the creative one. And now I can just say goodbye to the space pirates by just throwing them away. And I'm just going to crash into the mountainside and die. But if this is in survival mode, I wouldn't be allowed to do that because I don't own 50% of the grid. I need to go through that, grinding up, welding up to take control of the grid until it hits 50%. And then I could do that, just move it all the way across to where it needs to go, to be deconstructed or to be repurposed. By the way, back over here, back over to the base. I think I have covered everything with this tool and what you can do with it. Almost lost the base there for a second. Yes, back over to here. And I suppose one final thing for me to do is to do what I said earlier, which is why there's a bunch of warheads on the little pillars down below there. It's because this base is now going to have a small little accident. And so we're going to move it around, and then that'll be that for this video. So in here, we're going to detonate that. Nice big explosion. And now we can see the base is now in little pieces and has fell to the ground. But thanks to this tool, and because the base is part of my faction, I don't need to worry about actually cleaning this up, doing it manually, or even just resorting to more cheatier mods, such as the build and repair system, to automatically grind up. So if you grab this, oop, I want to have that one, I want to have this one. Now let's pick it up and just move it to wherever it needs to go in a third person view. There we go, look very, very odd. And just drop it, and off it goes. Grabbing this bit, moving away. There we are. And of course, we cannot interact with this, we cannot move it because it's still firmly on the ground. It's still a station. I can still move that and just fling it to wherever it needs to be flung. But with that, that's pretty much it for the DB Fizz Gun. Just a fantastic little thing to have in your world if you do want to have a more convenient way of moving stuff around. I know I personally, in spa mode, have often had small little accidents where, say, your base or a rover has now just been basically abandoned because you don't want to grind it up. It's too big to grind up, take too long to do. But with this tool, simply pick it up and we'll just take it to wherever it needs to go and be grinded up or just repaired up in general. And even better if you get your vehicle stuck in a little crevice. So let's say this ship up here, grabbing hold of him, bring him down. Let's say it's a land vehicle, it's stuck in his hole, it cannot get out the hole. But now you just use this tool and pull it all the way out without resorting to the copy and pasting, which I know a lot of people tend to do when they get stuck you don't want to lose your vehicle in, well, a bullshit manner. Yes, I'm pretty sure I covered everything with a tool. It's a fantastic thing to have in your world. I wish I could have shown it in survival mode. Unfortunately, I could not get that working, so I could not find the ammunition, or, well, any reason why I did not want to work in that. So yes, if you link to the description below, do you wish to download player around yourself, I highly recommend you do. And I'll be back with another video somewhere soon. Bye-bye.